Hello everybody, I'm Steve Tober. It's time to look at the 2010 NJSIAA State Tournament. Who could win the group championships? Let's begin in group one. University High, the Phoenix defending champs, seem to have found their mojo in the late going. Recent regular season win over Shabazz at the buzzer maybe ignites the team of Elijah Allen, Kasembi, Abiff and company, Brandon Waiters, outstanding point guard. Watch for University, certainly a team to repeat, perhaps in group one. But don't cut out Pittman from down south. How about a surprise team in section one? Booten, Dave Mead with Chris Compass, one of his big men, certainly a team to look at as having a great year that you usually don't hear from. But in the end, we look for university. Let's turn to group two. Shabazz from Central Jersey this year. It's weird to say Central Jersey, the Shabazz Bulldogs, but certainly with the big guys, Davion Bordenhan, Tyree Lockhart up front, a young point guard, sophomore Michael Reed maturing, plenty of depth, athleticism, ability to get that second shot. Got to like the Shabazz Bulldogs. And 22nd year coach Lou Grimsley always has them prepared. Certainly the Super Essex Conference will well prepare the Bulldogs and group two, but William Burrow and Collingswood from down south, two teams to watch to perhaps challenge as well. Anything, of course, can happen. And group three, another Essex County school, Nork Eastside, a team which has depth, great youth, but is also matured, led by Andre Flanagan, the outstanding senior, but the sophomores, the point guard, Kasim Chandler, the big guy, 6'6", Aaron Bodie, certainly get plenty of ammunition. They've added a few parts along the way with transfers, but you talk about a team which is well coached, Bryant Garvin, Anthony Tavares combining to a great job with the Red Raiders. Certainly a team to watch group three. Dennis Rossi in Old Tapan in section one. Curtis March and Teaneck in section one certainly might be heard of. And Jimmy Baglin and Mendham always well coached with that Princeton-like offense for the Minutemen. Certainly North Jersey influence, I think, in group two with, and excuse me, group three, and I see Eastside coming out on top. And group four, Tyrone Johnson and Plainfield. What a job they've done all season long. The only team to beat Seton Hall going into late February, a team which certainly has a lot of parts. Patterson Kennedy in section one under Jimmy Ring, returning many of their important individuals from a year ago, a team to watch. Lyndon Cherokee Trenton among the other teams. Rancocas Valley, remember them in 2008? Rancocas Valley all also perhaps a team to watch out of South Jersey. And non-public A, we're all looking for the potential showdown of Seton Hall prep and St. Peter's prep on that mid-March game at Rutgers probably, and it certainly would be a showcase game. You talk about Sterling Gibbs and John Caprio of the Pirates and St. Peter's prep with Miles Davis, Ronald Roberts, Darrell Lumpkin. They have a lot of parts under Mike Kelly, their outstanding coach. So a St. Peter's and Seton Hall game would certainly be the one everyone is looking for and seems inevitable. And non-public B, of course, no St. Patrick's. Kevin Boyle's team disqualified, but it still leaves two outstanding teams. Patterson Catholic, which has been just an outstanding team out of Passaic County. Faquan Edwin headed to Seton Hall University. T.J. Clemens going to Pitt for football. You talk about Miles Mack in the backcourt. A lot of strength for this team, PC. Certainly a team to watch going down the stretch. And then you also have to think of Bob Hurley, the legend in St. Anthony. The Friars with their defense, their ability to pump it inside either to Derek Williams or to Derek Collier. A lot of strength. And then on the outside, plenty of guard momentum now for the Friars. Who would not want to see a Patterson Catholic St. Anthony game at Rutgers in that North B final? Plenty of action. I think North will dominate in the group winners. And there you have it. A look of forecast of the NJSIA State Group Championships. I'm Steve Tober.